Hey, what's happening, y'all? This is Dame Funk with Pitchfork, and this is a song that I wish I wrote, and this one I chose is Bill of Bounties, Living It Up, from 1982, Warner Brothers Records slash Curb Records. Let's get into it. I first heard of him uh, when I was going through an AOR phase. Uh, some people like to call it Yacht Rock, but you know, I was really digging a lot of those records at one point after I'd kind of maxed out digging for funk and boogie and uh, disco and, and, um, and, and things like that. Around that period of 1982 is the kind of thing I was looking for, that type of sound uh, that reminded me of like me and my dad going to like Carney's by Tower Records in Hollywood. You know, those kind of things I experienced when I was growing up, those songs remind me of that era. That's the way Los Angeles radio sounded on FM. You just really didn't know what it was, but it was just a special time and that song is, sounded like that particular era. I've been living it up, having myself Bill's work influenced me not so much uh, directly on my sound, but uh, just overall and what he was a part of. I, I like to make music that kind of like pulls at your heartstrings a bit, you know, not just always, to, you know, like a party vibe all the time. And I like really good songwriting. He starts off kind of like in a playful kind of like mood where like the relationship that he was in is like uh, over and he's kind of like got his, his a nice little spark in his step again and you know he's doing fine. The heartbreak is wearing off. But then again, as he's telling his story, he's weaving it in and out, keeping you upbeat, but then also you can, you can hear a hint of disappointment and hint of uh, tear jerking coming as the song, you know, builds. He's not making uh, like that connection that he really wants deeply versus all the material things that are coming at him and, you know, um, uh, fun things and, 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 and great experiences. But it's just that one person that, uh, that he still has in his mind, you know, and um, at about two minutes and 43 seconds. I've been living out all those fantasies I never did get to, but it don't seem like living without you. I've been living out all those fantasies I never did get to, but it don't seem like living without you. Do, 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 do. And it's just, it's just, the it tears flow. You know what I mean? If, if you've been through some things, or at least your eyes well up a little bit. Living it up to me right now, I would say it's like, kind of like, I'm almost there to living it up. Stacking a little bit of, you know, bread, you know, to kind of do some things for you and your family, you know, off of just doing, you know, um, something that you really love and giving people music. Because I thought about that the other day. I was like, why am I doing this? I finally realized, I said, oh, I remember because I just want to make people feel good and give them certain sounds and certain chords, like hitting certain hard strings that make people, you know, feel a certain way while they're driving or where they're in the subway or just um, wherever they are, you know what I mean? Just like giving them a memory that they can remember, just like I had the memory of my dad taking me to Carney's and, and listening to songs like Living It Up from Bill of Bounty. So that's why I got into it and, and that's what a Living It Up to me is, knowing your purpose and being comfortable with it, but not always comfortable because that un that discomfort creates art. It's never perfect, you know what I'm saying? Life is never perfect. That's why I love the song, Living It Up, because it's like, he's living it up, everything was cool, but he still wasn't happy at the end. <laughs> and I think a lot of us go through that, and that's why that song resonates. And, but Living It Up to me, eventually, um, you know, maybe one day I could get beyond that last lyric of that song and just really sell off into the sunset with a smile on my face. Yeah. 